This little drawer thing is what catalyzed this entire room remodel. Like, I was not planning to do this. my channel today's video is going to be the process of starting my dream gym closet with what i have i would love to have one of the beautiful ikea packs full-on wardrobe whole closet dedicated to my stuff but i don't have that in this room this is my childhood room and we're working with what we have my approach now is possibly to try to clean out my closet and put all my gym stuff in there because that's predominantly what i wear and what i have i bought this contraption i saw marissa mcmara fit show it and she got it for her closet and i was like this is actually i feel like what my closet needs because it needs something that can hold a lot of little gym bottoms and stuff like that so i ran to my nearest target and i got it and i'll link it down below for you guys as well it was like 60 bucks which I was hoping it wouldn't be that expensive but I do think it's gonna serve its purpose a lot better I'm gonna show you guys my current setup it's a little embarrassing so just be kind <laughs> this is the current situation like clearly I just have too much stuff for the small space and every time I have to pull something out it just gets messy again this has been my closet for every year of my life <laughs> so naturally it's just gotten to be kind of crazy brace yourself but I have this shoe thing which I just feel like isn't working it's not working and then over here I just have a bunch of stuff hanging which makes this feel really cluttered sometimes the doors don't even close right then here on the inside you guys can just see it's like jam-packed I have so many pants that I have to put them up there those are just extra shoes that clearly I need to go through I have this entire thing with all of my honor sweats all of my honor hoodies are like taking over over there and then I have like t-shirts and stuff all types of stuff hanging it just has no flow but it has so much potential with this new thing I got I'm picturing putting the new thing here getting rid of that and then seeing how that makes the space first step is to make this I have a feeling this video is going to be filmed in a bunch of different days because I get the spurts of energy and then I get exhausted so first step is just to make this and see where it fits best and then we'll continue this cleaning journey over the next few days Alrighty, so like an hour later, she is built, she is cute. So I have my timeless, basically all of my like soft sports bras I put on top because those are the ones I've been reaching for the most. Then in here I have my ones that I reach for second but still not the most. So these are the halter bralettes, classic bralettes. I wear my micros quite a bit and I have quite a bit of them so I pop them there. In this next one is all my most worn legging cycling shorts and stuff. So all of these right here are my leggings which I've been wearing the most lately. And then here are all of the shorts that I have in the short, short length, which are the ones that I typically reach for. And then down here I have my effortless bras, which I don't really reach a ton for, but I do wear occasionally. And then I have some of my timeless right here, some timeless shorts here. It's kind of a hodgepodge. And then these are the cycling length of the short shorts. So I got most of it in here. I didn't put any classic stuff in here. The classic collection just really truthfully doesn't fit me very well. I very rarely reach for these pieces. So I'm going to store all them in one of these and then find a place for them in my closet once I get to that step. Okay, I'm watching you right now. So good. Loving this season so far. But I'm going to take all of the jeans that are up top up here. You guys literally can't see because it it's a mess. All the jeans I'm going to take and I'm going to put in the storage that the, all the honor stuff was in. So I'm going to transfer all of that and then I'm going to take all these sweats and I'm going to put them up there instead. We're making some good progress. And then I can take this out and then I need to find a way to clean up under here which I don't think I'm going to do before eating dinner so this is the last task we're going to do before getting a little bite to eat. Hi friends it's the next day and I have a pretty substantial update. One of my fatal flaws actually 
I think this is one of my greatest strengths and one of my greatest flaws <laughs> is that I am very impatient and so when I want something or I want to do something I'm gonna do it it's just that I want to do it all right then and there and sometimes that's not practical last night was one of those days I basically cleared out the closet and I have it in the framework that I wanted so I'm so excited to reveal it to you guys and then I kind of reorganized some things so this thing right here this gray Ikea holder had a bunch of clothes and was in my closet so my task of today is emptying it out and putting stuff in my other Ikea holder by my bed just finding places for everything that's in there and then getting that out of my room and then I'm kind of having a dilemma and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys part of me wants to move this mirror onto this wall and the reason is because I feel like when these doors just swing they just are in the way a bit of the mirror and it would just be the same thing just this way my only concern is that over here it is crowded already like there is a lot of stuff I'd probably move the tree plant put it in the corner and then put the mirror right here as long as it wouldn't get in the way of the door and the reason I want to do that is because then I feel like there would be more space over there a nice more empty corner for me to do content and stuff like that and I can swing this door open without worrying about hitting the mirror every five seconds so that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing today right now it's time for the big closet reveal dun, dun, dun. I'm so excited to show you guys I got to work yesterday I literally finished the entire season of you like literally probably watched five episodes just cleaning my room putting stuff away but I'm gonna show you guys what we have it's not perfect it's not done but it's a great start so brace yourselves it's an honor closet isn't it so cute okay i'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and show you this is a grand reveal it's not perfect obviously i feel like i could still organize it a bit better so we have all of our sweats because i was gonna hang all of the hoodies on top here but the sleeves were kind of hanging down in the way of the baskets and i know that that would annoy me so the sweats actually were a perfect option to go here literally so many and i wear these probably the most frequently like i wear the sweats more than i wear the hoodies so i wanted to have them really easy access obviously in here i showed you guys yesterday it's all of my drawers and they pull out at that perfect amount right here for the closet and then once my timeless jackets are clean i'm gonna hang them here and then some of my nicer like normal people clothes are still back here because i don't have other closet space for that there's still a lot i took out of here that i'm gonna have to just find room for but i wanted this to really act as my activewear space because it's literally all i freaking wear these are from ikea i use them to organize my drawers but since i don't have drawers right now i'm just doing them like this i'll just go through what's in each one so in here we have some timeless pieces some of my honor tanks and these little honor lounge bralettes that i love to wear these are my honor shorts I wanted them kind of out and accessible because it's getting to be that time of year. All of my Honor t-shirts, which this is such a better way for me to see them and wear them because before they were just like tucked away in a drawer and I never would really reach for them because they were just hiding from me. This is where all my Mellow Soft shirts are going to be. They're all kind of in the wash because I've been wearing them non-stop. Then we have all of my crop tops and tank tops. Then up here... <laughs> It's literally taller than me. I put on my classic bottoms because I really don't reach for those. So if I really wanted a pair of them, I could just grab up there and I know they're going to be up there. And then we have my kind of like zip ups and crew necks, all my hoodies. And then these are all my cropped hoodies with zippers. So literally a ton, but it makes it pretty easy and accessible. I feel like that's the only thing that will get dirty over time, but it's very easy to refold. Since this is my normal closet, I have a bunch of shoes hiding in the corner over there, but you can't really see from afar. And then this is my shoe rack, which is really full still. And then this is full of socks. So I want to find somewhere else to put my sock thing so that it's not in the way. And then all my running shoes will look nice right here once I get all of that stuff out the way. So that's the closet thus far. I'm obsessed. I feel like I need to take a break from the closet and work on the rest of the room slash like my mirror positioning, stuff like that. So that's kind of going to be what I do today to kind of take a little break from clothes. My next mission is emptying this baby out. I just have so much random accumulated shit in here that I just want to clear. I cleared most of these drawers out. It's really just the top and the bottom. I'm thinking of putting this by a different like desk or something so we can still utilize it. I got this box from Ikea. I got it to put all of my like, sentimental things. So I started collecting my cards. I have a lot of just like big photo orders that I didn't use that I put in here, like notes and cute things like that. So I'm just keeping it all in one safe space as opposed to losing it or just having stuff scattered everywhere. So it's nice to have everything in one nice box. I wanted to share this in case anyone was looking to do something similar. Okay, 
Okay, so last time I went down to Blacksburg, I got a bunch of my stuff that I had in my room for decor when I was living there. So I have this thing, which I really like. It's like a wicker vase kind of thing. It's from Hobby Lobby, and then I just put these eucalyptus stems inside like this. So I'm trying to decide where I want it to go, but I definitely want it in here. Then I have this little baby wreath, which I definitely want to put somewhere. Part of me is considering like putting it maybe even just right here would be cute. I think I'm gonna put it right here because there's already literally a nail from what was here before. Okay, slay, that simple. I also brought back this, which ideally I want to hang this over my bed where the wreath is. Like, let me just show you guys. I have this lemon wreath. I just feel like it's time for something different. And then I have these little mirrors I got from Vibe Below that I'll probably try to put over my bed. uneven <laughs> okay we are officially on day three of touching up my room but i'm super excited because i feel like this is definitely the last touches that i need to do and i'm just feeling good i feel like it's a space that i feel excited to be in again i'm kind of impatient and i love to have things and just get things done and i'm really happy that i just took a little bit of time to set aside to this and i've been watching a bunch of shows i finished you and i just started outer banks last night so i'm probably gonna watch it while i do stuff i didn't give outer banks a good enough chance because i was just hating on it i don't know why but i couldn't get through the first episode when i first tried watching it but last night i really sat it through gave it a chance and i like it as i told you guys this silly looking heart over here so i found a little command hook hiding around so i'm gonna pop the command hook here and then I'm just gonna hang my honor tote and hide it and mask it a little bit. So the honor tote is quite large, honestly, but I feel like it kind of goes with the theme, you know, like an honor closet. It'll like pretty much cover it if I put it in the right spot. covers it perfectly this little drawer thing is what catalyzed this entire room remodel like i was not planning to do this but then it kind of inspired me like hey what if this went in the closet and then from there i just went for it just to have this much active wear period and like know that it's going to keep growing from working with honor it's just like surreal to me and i'm so just thankful to be able to work with such an amazing company and i'm just so thankful to you guys for supporting me through this journey and watching all my videos i just feel very thankful and thank you guys so much for putting me in a position where i can turn my literal closet into a space for honor active because that's insane so over here in all of those bins and and that is now just my normal clothes i just don't wear my like normal clothes as much to where i feel like i needed them to be in the closet i ended up leaving the mirror here for a day so i could be like okay do i like this do i not like this and i actually love it i can stand like all the way on this back wall and it's less distracting stuff in the back because ever since i got the tv i just feel like the tv was constantly in the background of like my shots and stuff and if i'm watching stuff it does feel a little blank on that wall but I don't feel like adding anything. I just don't really know what would fill. I mean, actually, you guys can give me a recommendation. If you guys have any recommendations for what would fill this tiny little space, part of me just feels like I should just keep it blank because it might just look cluttered. I didn't really have a decorative bone in my body before going to college. Everyone that I was living with had the cutest decorations and like aesthetics for their room and stuff. I've learned from all of my friends and now I created my own. It's clearly a very greeny, earthy vibe. I brought back my sheets from where I was living previously. This is a duvet cover from Ikea. I'm thinking about putting this on my bed, but I'm nervous that I'm not going to like it. But if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. I just feel like it'd be easier because my dog always gets my white sheets super dirty. So this is easier to just take off and clean. And then I have a new sheet set that I literally found in my closet that I was probably supposed to use and then tucked away. So I'm going to put these new white sheets for underneath. And I do want to hang those little mirrors, the little Rotan mirrors that I tried to hang up there in the other day, but I needed to get a ruler and like actually measure that out properly. So I'm going to see if it looks okay.
ladies and gentlemen, we have the duvet on. I actually, like, when I first put it on, I really didn't like it. But now it's growing on me. And I have a white throw blanket that I need to wash. But I think putting the white throw blanket at the bottom here will help tie it all so it's not too green. I'm feeling happy. I got my little mirror things up there. I don't know if they're even or not. Please don't tell me they're not because I just want to pretend that they are. But I'm happy. I feel like it's such a good refresh for my space for the springtime just having more of an organized space for my active wear makes me very happy because it's like quite literally all i wear every vlog i wear a sweat set every vlog i wear a workout set and i feel like i should have done this sooner <laughs> it was also nice to get a nice clean out i got another like few tubs of stuff out of my room that i can donate i've lived in this room my entire life since i was literally a baby and it's so easy for things to just pile up and get messy. It's so easy to get tired of the space and just not love it anymore and want to change it. And I love that now. I feel like it's in a place where I'm not going to want to change a lot. I feel like I love everything. I have a TV. I have this nice beautiful mirror. All these pretty earthy decorations. I feel like I finally found my own personal room style. And that's pretty much it for my room refresh. So I will take you guys through a little quick visual tour. And then that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.